it is dark, it is sorted. Just because they're having fun doesn't mean it always shows. Mm -hmm. I, I remember years ago when I was first playing in public dungeons. In fact, the first time I went to a, a public play party at a dungeon, the dungeon master came up to me and said, are you here consensually? That's how, tra how much trauma there must have been on my face. Like, what the hell am I looking at? What am I doing here? The whole thing was so foreign and so outside of what I had ever seen before that that misconception, these are freaks, this is wrong, this is bad, this is dark. I don't, I don't know that I want that taken away, frankly. That's part of what really made it hot and different and, and, and cool for me to, to do it then. But it, there are misconceptions. It is dark. There are people who make it darker. Edge play. Uh, I'm an edge player now myself. But can you, can you define I, that for us? I sure can. But I didn't start there. Remember, I started with, is it okay if I pull your panties down and smack? Hey, sure. That's just hot sexuality. Mm -hmm. But if somebody told me 25 years ago that this is where I would end up, that I would be one of the officers running this organization, and I would be playing with all these dynamics that I now think are hot, I would have went, not a chance. You get there. And one of the things we've said over the years, when we hear kinks that are dark and no thank you, is we learned a phrase that was, it holds no interest for me at this time. So then we weren't standing in judgment of what turned someone else on, but we were clearly drawing a line like, nope, not for me because it also left the future exploration open for us. Now maybe it holds interest for me. Things that used to be a turn off for me are now a turn on for me. And so that's a progression. You can progress or not. It's okay. Some people progress away from public play, but it holds no interest for me at this time. It's, it's one of those safe little places to not stand in judgment, but look at all the different styles of kink to see what turns you on or what may turn you on. I can only speak about my own experience. Edge play for, for others can be very different. So there's a spectrum of what's edgy for you. For me at 59 and post-menopause, a lot more happens up here than used to happen in my body. The power exchange is a lot hotter in my head. When I can make my partner do something I know they don't want to do, that's edgy. He's a powerful switch. He's a powerful dominant cis male in his own right. And to get him to be subservient, never submissive, just subservient to, ple to meet my needs, wow. And, and that's edgy for me. I also like a lot of rituals contracts, single word commands that the, I can use in public. And some people don't even know we're, I mean, nobody knows we're playing unless you're kinky, but that's edgy. That's bringing it out into an environment that would have otherwise been off limits. And that's edgy for me. I don't have to, I mean, we played a lot with hoods and leather straight jackets and floggers and single tailed until you drew blood and then you had to stop. I mean, I, would have, I, I used to think, you're kidding me, that's so ragingly over here, I'm, I'm never going there. And so you go there and you get it, and the high and the power exchange is just beyond words, like, okay, I understand this now, that the edge moves. Now I did it, the edge moves.